Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. Welcome back to the mod organizer for Fallout New Vegas series. In the last episode, we added a bunch of new guns to the game. Here in episode 16, we'll be feeding all those weapons with new ammunition. We'll be installing Caliber X that adds unique rounds for many guns with accurate weights and ballistic data. Then to add more fun at the reloading bench, we'll install ammo ingredients as loot. Finally, we'll fix the crafting experience with the JIP Improved Crafting Menu. Before we begin, a quick word. In our ongoing effort to keep modding free, I want to encourage everyone to donate to the favorite mod creator. As part of Dirty Weasel Media's mission statement, donations will be made to the mod creators featured here after release of this video. So let's start making ammo and head to the reloading bench. Er, um, desktop! Alright guys, so let's get started on Caliber X. You know, we have Mod Organizer for Fallout New Vegas ready to go, so you always want to have that open. And we also have SRB's Fear and Loathing in New Vegas open right here. So if you ever want to follow along with what we're doing, just come on down to section number 9.2 to feel lucky. And you can see that's where we are right there. And we just, in last episode, we installed Weapons of the New Millennia. So we come down, and he's actually added the video for that uh, episode right there. That's nice. So Caliber X, right there. If you want to follow along with what we're doing, you're going to see all these instructions right here. But let's get started. Caliber X on the Fallout New Vegas Nexus is mod 39981. And it's done by Earache, Fluid Fire, and maintained by Brigand and Whiskey River 2. So you see it's been downloaded a bunch, 312,000 times. Caliber X is one of those mods that you really don't see a lot of, you know, effects in game, but it is one of those mods that will have a lot of functionality and improve things like bullets. And, you know, I talked about this before, my gun nut, and uh, I actually reload too. So, when you come down and you read the key features, more than 30 new calibers are added. All fully configurable with proper list and shell recovery. Nice selection of new handloads for the true enthusiast. I like that. Real world accurate weights and anal for the anal retentive. Handload enthusiast, that's me. Accurate standardized naming, fully compatible with caliber 2.0 reload, don't really matter. And caliber next does not include new ammo to the game. It is basically up to additional weapon monitors to activate those desired rounds. And it is fully integrated with weapons of the new millennia. So you're going to get a whole bunch of new shells for this. And really cool stuff. You know, for a bullet guy, for an ammo guy, this is really cool. So even down to silent projectile option for popular rounds reduces ballistics by 10%, but is truly silent muzzle flash. Okay. Even unique muzzle flashes for sniper and PDW SMG rounds, extra bang for the extremely large rifles and hand cannons. Okay. So it it's a really great mod. It's one of those things that if you're into the guns of Fallout New Vegas, it's really, you know, great having. What you're going to do is come over to the file section. And you're going to go ahead and get the two main files, Caliber 3-18 Foam Mod. Go ahead and download that with Manager. You're going to get the Caliber X ESM update, version 4.017. Don't worry about the version number. It's okay. You're going to download that with Manager. And then you're going to come down. You're going to see optional files. We'll go into a world of pain later on in another episode when we actually install a world of pain. But keep coming down, and you're going to see one that says Weapons of the New Millennia Caliber X Version 4 Patch. That's not what we want. We want a different one. We want to keep scrolling down. We see Weapons of the New Millennia Version 1.1 Caliber X Patch. It's the patch for the latest version of Weapons of the New Millennia. Okay, this may be changing. Weapons of the New Millennium may get a whole new patch soon. But for right now, it's going to work. It includes the modified cheat cabinet and store ESPs. See included readme for more details. So we're going to download that with Manager. So just to recap, we are getting the two main files right there and there. And we are getting the Weapons of the New Millennia version 1.1 Caliber X patch. Download that with Manager as well. So let's minimize this down. I've downloaded them to... Mod Organizer, you can see them over my downloads page. And there's Caliber X3-14, Foam Mod, Caliber X EMS Update, and the Weapons of the New Millennium version 1.1 Caliber X patch. And this is, you know, I also download them to my desktop so you can see them. 
There's the foam mod right there. You can see some of the ESA, ESM patches right there. Close that down. Then you come over to the Caliber X EMS update. And you see it's going to be changing, replacing the Caliber ESM. Okay. And then you get over to the weapons of the new millennia. And I had to ask SRB about this because when you open this up, you're going to see ESPs for weapons of the new millennia. His suggestion is that we do not merge those in to weapons of the new millennia. I'll show you that, but just so you know, go ahead and uh, merge them all together. But we'll show you that. First thing we're going to do, we have it, let's just go down to the bottom so we can have it all together. A Caliber 3-14 foam mod. Double click to install. Go and extract the files. And you get a foam mod. Optional DLC plugins. We have Honest Hearts and we have Gunrunner's Arsenal. We can go ahead and just leave these in because we'll go ahead and put them to optional ESMs later on. You can see what they do. Adapts Honest Hearts to use Caliber X's 45.ACP. Plus P is retained as a new round. Okay, got it. Gunrunner's Arsenal, updates ammo list, blah, blah, blah. You know, go ahead and leave these checked, but just go ahead and click install, and we'll show you what to do with those. And you can see it right there. Next thing we're going to do is go to the Caliber X EMS update. We are going to double click to this to install, and you can see it's already chosen Caliber X as what we want to merge it into. So if it says anything other than Caliber X here, it may say something like one of these. Okay? Make sure you put in Caliber X to match what's here. Go and click manual to install Caliber ESM and then change log RTF. You don't ne technically need that, but it's a good thing to have. And click OK. And the mod seems to be installed already. Do you want to add files from this archive? No, we're going to merge them. We're going to merge them in. We're not going to replace them. We're going to merge them. There they go. There's that. So the last thing we want to do is the weapons of the new millennia version 1.1 Caliber X patch. We're going to Double click this to install and you can see Caliber X right again. You may have that. Go ahead and change it to Caliber X. Remember, I already do testing on all this stuff, and Mod Organizer is pretty smart and it remembers things. Make sure it's Caliber X because we're going to be merging it into Caliber X, right? And you can see all the ESPs we talked about right there. Just go ahead and click OK to install it and merge it in. Let's go ahead and activate it and open it up. Just come on down. Scroll down, double click, and it's going to open it up. So, we're going to have Nexus Info, right, 39981. And this is one of the reasons why SRB recommended this, is that all three of the mods we just installed are mod ID 39981. We don't want to mess up weapons of the new millennia right there by having something for this. Okay, don't just don't do it. Just trust them that it will work. Version, we'll change the version to the correct version of Caliber X. Let's go close that right now. We'll go find that. And it is Caliber X version 3.18. So let's go ahead and change that right now while we have the chance. Nexus Info 3.18. Done. So what we would want to do is go over to the optional ESPs. And you're going to see a bunch of things in here. And what SRB recommends is that you take the Caliber X gun runners and move it up. So it's an optional ESP. It's not active. Do the same thing with Caliber X Honest Hearts ESM. Move it up. And then finally, we're going to take the Weapons of the New Millennia Store.ESP, highlight it, move it up. So none of these will be active. We want to have Weapons of the New Millennia Store Lite if you want to install the mod Gun Runners Actually Run Gun. Just leave it in there. It's not going to do much if you don't have it. But if you want it later on, it's here. Okay, we talked about this before. Weapons of the New Millennia Cheat Cabinet. This is going to be the Caliber X version of the Cheat Cabinet. I want this in. If you don't want to have the Cheat Cabinet, you know, the Tickle Trunk, just go and highlight it and move it up. I want it, so we're going to keep it in there. But we want the Caliber.ESM. We want the Weapons of the New Millennia Caliber X patch. We want the store light, and I want the cheat cabinet. Just go ahead and close this. And now that we have that, we can also look at our conflicts. We go over to conflicts, and you see the weapons of the new millennia cheat cabinet is being over, it's overriding that one. So we actually don't need 
the new one. We're going to move Caliber X up underneath Millennia of the New Millennium weapons okay underneath your weapon mods right here you can see it's only overriding weapons of the new millennia we talked about what that is so let's open up weapons of the new millennia go to optional esps and we can now take out cheat cabinet that was there because it's the wrong one it didn't have all this right stuff in it because we want the version that's in caliber x right now that we've taken that out of there you can see the conflict is gone we're going to ignore that update just so you know, all the conflicts are gone. Caliber X is running all on its own. It's not going to be making any changes. So when we get back into the game, after we install our next couple of mods, we'll show you what that does. But for right now, that's, that's a good thing. So we're there. Now we're going to minimize Mod Organizer down, and we're going to move on to our next mod. And that is Ammo Ingredients as Loot by Moogie Fluff and his mod 35378. And what this does is going to add ammo ingredients to your loot piles and to boxes and containers. And it's going to be stuff like primers and powder and casings and all those things. This is one of those mods that if you're an ammo guy and you want to increase the, the fun of crafting more ammo, you want this because we just, include, we just put in Caliber X. So we want to be able to start building all these ammo on our own. So let's go ahead and go to our file section. And we have ammo ingredient as loot. And then you have improved ammo ingredients as loot. One has better spawn rates. And this is the one below. Better spawn rates for most components should still be balanced and not overpowered. I'm choosing this one because I want to have more ammo ingredients as my loot. If you want a, few, a little bit less, choose this one right here. I'm choosing this one because I'm going to also turn down ammo availability in Project Nevada. Just so you know, that's what we're doing. So click download with manager. So we're going to open up mod organizer. And you can see ammo improved ammo ingredients as loot. So you're going to double click to install ammo ingredients as loot. Go ahead and click manual. And it looks good. It has a readme text and the ESP. Looks good. There we are. Now it had the wrong order or the wrong version. So we'll go ahead and double click to open this up again. Go to a Nexus Info, M's version 1.0. Close. We can now close that down. So we'll go ahead and activate this. And you'll see it doesn't really do much as far as conflicts go. But I want to have it somewhere around there. It's not overriding anything, but I still want to have it load after Caliber X. Remember, this is your Priorities tab. This is the one it's going to be installing. It goes down to here. It's hitting Caliber X, then it hits Loot. The Ammo Ingredients is Loot. That's just what makes sense to me. It's not specific. I wouldn't worry about that too much. So that's done. Now let's go ahead and move down to our final Mod Pack. And I call it a pack because it's going to have three or four different components. And that, well, actually, I'm actually going to throw these away right now. So we have a little bit clear. And we can go in and go to our last one. And that is the JIP Improved Recipe Menu by Jazz's Paris. Okay, once again, Jazz's Paris. The guy's very popular. And it's mod 59638. What this is going to do is basically improve the how the workbenches and reloading benches work. And you remember before we, you know, had problems with the way it worked in as much as You'd have to click one thing, you'd make it, then the whole menu would shut down. Or it only let you do 100 at a time, and then it would shut down. And you have to reopen it over and over again. So this one, with this mod, you can craft as many items as you can, you know, based on the components for, of a recipe, all in one single batch. Up to 1,000. You can craft 1,000 rounds at a time. You can keep crafting uninterrupted. The menu will remain open until you select it and close it. When using a mouse, you can simply click on a recipe directly from the list to select it. There's no need to click accept. So with this one, it's really nice. I, I think this is one of those main changes that a lot of people overlook that uh, always bugs them. But I think it's cool. So requirements on this. You know, you're going to need the newest version of New Vegas Script Extender, at least for version 4.5 B7 or newer. 
I have version 5 of NVSE, the beta. The beta works just fine. Don't don't think it's, you know, not going to work for you. Just go and get it. Make sure you have version 5.0 or better. And the JIP NVSE plugin, version 1800 or newer. So, you know, basically the JIP NVSE, if you're using it, by the way, if you're using the Xbox 360, you'll need the Lutana. But we installed that in another episode, so don't worry about that too much. You already have it. So the JIP NVSE plugin, I have it right here. The JIP NVSE plugin by Jazz's Paris, go figure, is one of those things that, you know, adds more functions to NVSE and allows you to do more. It basically has 250 new functions which can be used in scripts in the GEC. This is why I like having it. I'm going to just go ahead and show you this real fast. Mod 3, or excuse me, Mod 58277. Go to your files. You see the JIP NVSE plugin download with manager. Okay, just do it. All right, I'm open up mod organizer and I have it, both of them. There's the JIP NVSE plugin and there's the JIP improved menu. So, why this is important, and you'll notice over here JIP command, companions command and control. This one is in need of an update. Okay, the newest version is 2.3. If you go ahead and visit this on the Nexus, visit this on the Nexus, is that right there? You look at it, Chip Companions Command and Control, I recommended this in one of the early, early videos. It now requires, it's here somewhere, it keeps going down, the JIP NVSE plugin. So I need to have the JIP NVSE plugin before I update JIP Companions Command and Control. It's worth having, and that's why we have it. That's why we're including it. So we need it for the in improved recipe menu, but we also need it for the newest version of JIP Companions Command and Control. So JIP NVSE plugin, we're going to double click to install, check the manual. It's an NVC plugin. All right, click OK. It's going to be at down here at the bottom. I'm going to activate it and slide it all the way up. Keep sliding it all the way up where I keep all my NVSC plugins. I'm going to put it right below there. It doesn't really matter. It's okay where it is. It's just I like keeping all my MVC plugins at the top. All these things. So now that that's done, I can go ahead and install the JIP Improved Recipe Menu. Double click to install, click Manual, and it's one ESP. Click OK. It's going to be down here at the bottom. So we can go ahead and move this up. It's not going to really change much. It doesn't have any conflicts, but I want it near the top because it's kind of a function thing. I'll put it underneath my Fallout New Vegas item browser. Also done by, I think it's done by Jim. I can't remember. Up here, it's not going to change much. I wouldn't worry about it. And just go to our plugins. Now you're going to see them all the way down here at the bottom. You're going to have these new things. Now the cheat cabinet. It didn't know to uh, activate it, so you activate that, and you have all the ones we talked about. The cheat cabinets for me, just for me, because I'm a video maker. And then you have the New Millennia Caliber X patch, the weapons of the New Millennia Store Light, the improved ammo ingredients is loot, and the JIP improved recipe menu.esp. If you're ever wondering, the Grunt Perk patch is in Caliber ESM. That's where it is. Come down here. We are down working down here. Go and click loot. You can see it's version 8.0. I got the new one today. So here you are, Fallout New Vegas. And you're going to go through all these messages. And you got, this is what we have presently. You have Calvary SM. It's going to have some ITM records that need to be cleaned. If, you know, you remember want to learn how to do that, you can go back and look at another episode I cover on FNB Edit Basics and clean those ITM records. Keep scrolling down. Verts, never clean verts. Weapons of the New Millennia Caliber X4 patch ESP needs to be cleaned. Weapons of the New Millennia Store light needs to be cleaned of all ITM records. I'm going to go ahead and sort plugins and see what it does. And it didn't move them around. We're going to have to manually move them. I'm going to click apply and close it down. All right, it moved them a couple little bit. But what I want is these up higher. If 
you look at the enabled masters, Caliber ESM, Fallout New Vegas ESM, Gunrunners, Honest Hearts, Weapons of New Millennia ESM, all your ESMs are up here. So you can basically move this anywhere up. I'm going to move it up to more Millennia Weapons, Weapons of the New Millennia Leveled List. Okay, I'm going to want it somewhere in between those. I'm going to do the same thing with that one. And the same thing with that one. And then the JIP Improved Recipe Menu. It has nothing. Okay, I would move it up somewhere. How about roughly where I said before? So I'm going to say right up there. That's fine. Just get it up out of the way because we're trying to get the FMV or Realistic Wasteland to be at the bottom. We'll fix that. Improved ammo and greens is loot. The enabled masters fall at New Vegas. So we can move it up anywhere. How about there? Right? So it's below Project Nevada. That's probably where I would like it to be. But that's it for now. And we are going to move FNV, Realistic Wasteland, Lighting, Enhance. That's my weather mod I always want at the bottom. I'm going to root and loot again. Sort plugins and see what it says. See if I run any major errors by those changes. And that, you know, remember that's what we're doing. We're basically just moving them around and then checking for any errors. And it looks good. It still wants to have realistic wasteland lighting enhanced at the top. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel that because I'm not going to see any major errors on here. All right, no air major errors. A couple of warnings, so we're good. I'm going to click cancel to, do, to close that down. We're good to go. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in game, and we're going to check these changes out. Here we are in game. I have some work to do. So this is a new weather mod I'm working on, and uh, we'll take a look at it. But you can see in the upper left-hand corner, uh, you're getting all the new weapons added. All the new ammo, rather. You're getting all the new ammo added. So there's that. Am I carrying a gun? I am carrying a gun. Let's put that away. All right, that heads up display will go away. But uh, I like the new weather mod. I we're gonna have to play with it some. I have to do some work on anti-aliasing, but we'll take a look at that later. I'll probably have a video up on this new weather mod later. But you know, let's go take a look at the tickle trunk. You can see it is right here where we left it before, and uh, we'll come back to that. Open the tickle trunk. And you have new stuff. Scroll down a bit, and you'll start to see the new stuff arrive. Keep scrolling down. Oh, see, there's some right there. 5.45 by 39. There's some more stuff from Talker of Ammo. 7.62 by 39. That's some new stuff here. You can see all these new ammo types. And that's how you know that the Tickle Trunk has been updated to the correct version using Caliber X is that you have all this good stuff here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and I'm just going to take, uh, mm, let's see, let's take a bunch of 308, 308 Winchester. We're just going to take it. Now I have it in my inventory. We'll come over to the activate reloading bench. And you see right away I have the ability to just click on it. I didn't have to select A or anything. I can do up to a thousand or any portion thereof and click OK. There it is. I broke it down. All right? So we can break down some more. And the and the menu doesn't close down. If I wanted to create some hollow point 308, I can click some of that. Make it. Done. It doesn't close out. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. I can do the same thing over this one. I'm not going to have a lot of stuff to craft, but you just click it, click OK. It doesn't shut down. So that works very well. So that's the JIP crafting menu Im improved. It works very well. I can get all my ammo there. But, uh, there's that. So now that I also have you know the ammo ingredients as loot, I'm going to need to change Project Nevada. You know I'm not going to be able to show you that without going to shoot a bunch of stuff. You'll see it, so let's go ahead and go into our MCM mod configuration menu, and it is going to be rebalance, and it is going to be loot rarity. Click root rarity, and you have ammo, spawn chance, very common, rare, right, right now, 
is the fault is 100%. Bring it down. I'm going to bring it down to spawn chance rare. 50% chance. So actually, I'm going to increase it down a little more. We'll put it at 25%-ish. Click accept. For the very common ammo, I'm going to reduce that down to 75%. Click accept. For the common, I'm going to reduce it down to 50%. Click accept. And the very rare, I'm going to reduce that all the way down to 12.5, if it'll allow me. Or 13. Okay, click accept. So what that did was, it reduced the chance of all those ammos spawning in chests, but because I have increased ammo ingredients as loot, that's okay. We're okay with that. Let me go back and continue. There we are. I'm going to have to work on this uh, weather mod, tune it up a bit. I like it overall. It looks good, but I'm going to have to change some things and see what we can come up with options for this. So... That's it for now, guys. We got uh, three ammo mods all loaded up. Well, one of them's kind of a crafting mod. Works very well. So, that's it for now. Thanks for joining us. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.